Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This week, a little bit different. We're not doing our normal workshop walk around. I'm gonna give you an in-depth overview of the new Urban Works T6.1. So last week we released the pictures of the two cars uh, and I'm absolutely humbled, overwhelmed with the response. You know, we're, uh, we're an aesthetics exterior styling company. We don't focus on the interiors so much like, you know, your historical transporter modifiers do. Um, how well we were welcomed, I don't know. You know, the, the general public and our followers really, really love the design, they love the finish, they love our OEM Plus look um, that we always go for across all of our vehicles. So today I want to give you an overview of all of the parts, the quality, um, what we make, how we make it, and a little bit more in depth about what options are available to you as a customer. So our two launch cars, one was in deep pearl black, and we're going to start with this car now. So first thing first, up front. Now, full replacement bumper. So we've manufactured this, as you know from previous videos, out of um, full carbon fibre. So it has, it has the integrity to, to hold its shape. One thing about aftermarket PU rim, which is like low pressure injection molding, there tends to be some droop and some diminishment over time, whereas this will stand the test of time. It's absolutely bulletproof. Well, not, not exactly bulletproof, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna hold its, its rigidity, you know, keep its lines, everything's gonna stay perfect looking. And what we tried to do, we tried to mix it up with, with sort of three front elements, which are the side intakes, the, the center mouthpiece and the tongue. Now the tongue's also manufactured out of carbon fiber as well. So we've got three options. You can have it painted in gloss black, you can have it in two by two carbon, or you can also have it in our new forged carbon look. Um, I'm a little bit undecided on the forged carbon look, whether it's right for the transporter yet, but it is available as an option if you so wish. So the side intakes in the center mouthpiece are injected out of high pressure plastic. So they're strong, rigid, and what we've done on our launch cars, we've finished this with like a, a Raptor paint. So it basically finishes off the car with like an OEM stippled look, which you would get on a standard car. Now these elements will also be available in gloss black by order. Um, so you can pick it in a raw finish to paint your body color if you like, if you're an installer. You can have it in Raptor stippled finish like you can see here, or you can have it in a gloss black finish. So if you're going for a contrast color, you can have the full gloss black look to the whole front end. One last thing on the car is the Nolden DRL. Uh, it's an integrated DRL carried across the design from uh, all of our other cars. We use multiple different styles of Nolden, but we always use Nolden because they're you know, pretty much the best automotive light manufacturer we know. Bulletproof, no problems at all with quality. So on the T6.1, we did two different styles of wheels. Now, the first one is the UC4, which we carried across from our, our, like our Range Rover range to give a, a, a sporty, dynamic look. And then also the WX2, which is on our pure gray van. We've gone for a slightly different setup than normal. We haven't gone for a square wheel setup. Like we did on our Defender, we went for a 10 mil wider offset at the back, so we got it perfect on the arch. Some tuners go for a really, really aggressive off offset on the T6, but, but we've sort of made it conservative, so it sits perfectly flush on the fender. So finishing off the nine piece plastics kit is our um, Urban Works side vent. Now you can see here, it comes with a nice um, cuboid design, which matches the front and the rear plastics. It's finished off with a nice Urban Works badge, which can be finished in black or with a color insert. So you can go for red, blue, depending on the color of the van. So going on to the rear of the car, I want to show you the rear on our pure gray car. Um, you can see the difference between the two. Obviously when you've got a colored van, you, you actually mix it up with the, you know, the black detailing, whereas you can't see it so much on the, on the black one. So if I go through the, the pure gray van, so first off, um, our lower um, side tubes, slightly longer than other um, companies on the market. We've gone right to the end. We've adapted a bracket to fit in underneath. Um, you can jack the car up like normal. The only thing you have to do is obviously if it goes on a four poster ramp, you have to take the side tube off for, it, for having any work done. But other than that, fits like any other side tube. We've gone for a decal pack on the side, just so we can brand uh, the van. This is optional, you don't have to have it. If you want the clean look, you can. So the other wheel in our range is the WX2. Now this wheel was taken from our Defender program. It's like a work style wheel, which was hugely popular with the Defender. So we carried it across to the T6.1. 
Again, slightly different offset, 10 mil more, um, 10 mil wider at the back. Um, so that completes the look. And if you see down the side, you can see it just sits perfect on the line of the car. So the rear, oh, dare I say the rear is the best part of the car for me. Now we've got a two part plastic injected rear spoiler, which comes with our Urban Works decals on the side. Um, it's two piece, bonds on nice and neatly. It fits absolutely like a glove. The quality is absolutely exceptional. So then we have our replacement rear bumper. Now we've actually done two styles of rear bumper. So we've covered off the up and over door, which you see here, but we've also covered the barn door as well. So anyone that's got like a short wheelbase or long wheelbase van, which has got the opening doors, can actually um, benefit from buying the kit as well because it does fit both options. And the same goes for the rear spoiler as well. We have to develop two rear spoilers to fit both doors. On the lower portion of the bumper, we've got our twin exit exhaust. Now this is a faux exhaust, but what we've done, we've worked with our uh, manufacturing partner, Miltech. So we've got four quad tips. They're actually manufactured in the UK. They have internal sleeves. So when you're driving behind the car, it doesn't look like you can see a pipe hanging down or. A, you know, it, it, it looks false. It actually looks like it's integral to the diffuser. So the diffuser comes with a fully removable skid pan, which enables anyone that wants to add tow um, to our bumper, they can do. What we've seen in the past is a lot of people have not done anything to the rear bumper because they're a little bit scared of obviously doing the, 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 the multiple tools that we've had to do to do the up and over door, the barn door, and then obviously adding tow to it as well is obviously very complex and very expensive, but with no expense spared, we've added full towing facilities to our kit. So anyone who wants to tow can, anyone who wants to leave it as it is, they can do. So suspension, now we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're often exactly the same as most other tuners do. Uh, our two launch vans come with the 50-60 drop that we do. That's a race line spring. Um, it sits nice and level on the car. It's comfortable. It doesn't sit too low. It doesn't look broken. Uh, and the other option we do is a Bill Stein Comfort coilover package as well. So for the interior, now we've gone for two different styles. Uh, we haven't complicated it with lots of colors. And, you know, I, I know that the transporter market is really, really big on, you know, loud, you know, striking interiors. Now we've gone the opposite. We've gone for two styles. One is our sport quilt and the other is a cuboid design, which follows basically the exterior features of the, of the plastics kit that we've got, which is a design cue for the whole car. So you've got a choice. You can obviously go for colored steerage and cut, uh, you know, colored inserts. We do a complementary steering wheel to match and an Alcantara headlining. And that's our interior offering for the T6.1. So guys, that's it. The new Urban T6.1. It's under the Urban Works banner, uh, which is our new commercial division. What have we done so far? Do you like it? What have we done right? What have we done wrong? Get in the comments below and tell us uh, what you'd have done different. Uh, we've got some new products coming soon already. We've got the roof light bar, which you may have seen some pictures of already. We've got our new WX3 wheels and also some Recaro seating options to give a nice bucket seat to go in the car as well. So we're not precious on how we spec these vans. You can choose exactly how you like, whether you want it with or without interior. Whether you want to choose wheels from someone else, you might want 21 inch Vossens with a big staggered offset on it or it on air. Whatever you choose, it's up to you.